Hi, this is Lorenzo and I'm doing another online Rome Total War commentary battle. Today I'm playing as Armenia and my opponent, Jake from the Hell Clan, is playing as the Brutii Romans. It's a 10k battle with uh, custom rules which are quite similar to CWB, but uh, I've just dropped the archer number a bit uh, due to quite a lot of losses from archer spammers actually today. Anyway, uh, looking at my army, I have four units of sh experienced gold defense Armenian heavy spearmen, two units of hillmen with a chevron for experience and bronze attack and bronze defense, three units of extremely heavy cataphracts with gold defense and silver attack upgrade and four units of Armenian archers with gold attack. Now those hillmen, you might be wondering why I brought them, but they're actually quite good as an anti-cavalry defense. And uh, you'll basically see they have quite a use. They're quite useful in this battle, especially as it goes to the front line, which was even a surprise to me. But anyway, here's the army of Jake. He has three units of urban cohorts, slightly upgraded. Two heavily upgraded Velite gladiators. Two archer Roman archers. With I don't think they've got any upgrades on. And three units of Praetorian cavalry, which have silver attack and silver defense. So I'm just pushing up my men I think now, and they're just moving forward. Um, yeah, as I said, the hillmen are actually quite good as an anti-cavalry. Um, I was expecting more Praetorians and I was just thinking to bolster up my uh, cataphracts just in case they needed it. I would have them, but um, th with three of those units against three of, three of his, those three Praetorians won't hold up against my uh, cataphracts. So. That's basically quite nice, but he has got a lot of infantry, and those velites, if he used them right, could uh, be used against my cataphracts. Now here he's trying to hide his archers in his urban cohorts, thinking they'll be protected. Uh, basically, he starts firing, but it doesn't actually fire that many arrows because they need enough more room to fire the arrows. So they only fire a couple of those fire arrows, as you can see. I'm firing back, and I'm taking out archers and urban cohorts now. So that's quite nice, sort of killing two birds with one stone I guess, but as you can see those fire arrows really aren't coming out of those um, open curl here so that's not working at all. Um, in a minute, in just in a second, he's going to start charging out some archers at mine, but that's a little bit of a weird move, I'll explain that. Yeah, here he comes, right. He, he basically, by doing this, he hopes that I'm my archers are off sk on skirmish mode and that he can beat them back just because my men will run away if they were, but I took them off and I just moved my front line forward and his men were out on impact and I really lose, I think I've lost two archers in the unit he hit, so I guess it's not too much of a problem. Um, my cataphracts are a bit far back, but they'll come back into the battle in a minute. Now here I was just trying to shoot, you can see like my archers spreading to the flanks, so I'm just trying to hit his Praetorian cavalry just to soften them up a bit, because there's no point shooting those urban cohorts in the front. So that's what I'm doing there. Uh, my cataphracts start coming back now. He starts moving for his urban cohorts, and that's a bit worrying. I do not want him to release those peelers, so I charge these hill men into their front. And they take up loads of peeler. They actually absorb quite a lot of the peeler and stop them firing. And that gives, they route, but that gives my heavy spearmen to get in without actually taking too much damage from those Roman peeler, which to any player is horrible if they just leave it on fire at will. So it was almost a screening in a kind of sacrificial way I guess. But now he's moving his valetes up my right hand side. Now my have four heavy spearmen and he has three urban cohorts so I'm able to swing this flanking heavy spearmen uh, down to the right hand side to engage his valetes and my cataphracts come in here and do a hammer and anvil which is routes off one unit of urban cohorts and then goes on to engage that Praetorian cavalry who is then crushed in between my other Armenian cataphracts and routed off. Now seeing this he sends in the rest of his cavalry. Um, he managed to hit one of my units but he won't do much damage, they've got gold defence. I crush him between that unit. That doesn't route them, they're pretty strong Praetorian cavalry, even though it's cataphracts, you need to use mace ready to get through. But the third one does route off one unit, and I start to crush the other. Now, I don't really want them to fight to death, I just want to get back and start hammering an anvil. I can deal with these later, so I let them go. Um, as you can see, I've just hammered an anvil quite a lot. 
and that one breaks a lot of the uh, rings and rail. There's a bit of a glitch there, so you just miss like the transition between there. But now there's only two Praetorian cavalry left, and my cataphracts are just going to go and finish them off. And here they come. I'm not even bothering to try any flanking stuff. I I know I have complete faith in the cataphracts. <laughs> in all fairness, there's not too much that can beat the Romans apart from cataphracts. Safe Quite a lot of barbarian infantry can do it, but they don't have the resolve to this hold is a out long. Victory. So it's, I always have a problem. But anyway, that was a heroic victory, and I got 540 kills, and he got 196. Well played, Jake from the Hell Plan.